Hello once again, amazing blue fans. As always, like, share, subscribe to my page. And I just want to give a shout out to all the people that subscribed and everything after my Ohio State, Michigan versus Ohio State video. Cause I got a lot of love, even from even from OSU fans that that place that play place down south. So I gotta give love and I appreciate everything. And I got some big news for Michigan. Who who's got it better than us? After this season, I mean, it was lackluster for the most part with our quarterback play and some offensive line woes, but we got good news on the front because not only did, next next year is a year with no excuses, and I'm going to break down why next year will probably be a year with no excuses these next couple years because not only do we have a, a stable at running back with Evans, with Evans and Higdon, and we have Kareem Walker in the depths, and we have a couple other running backs in the depths that will be ready the years after they leave. But we've got wideouts, and the offensive line is improving, and the defense, pretty much our whole defense is coming back except a couple players. And now we have Ole Miss. Ole Miss has sanctions coming down on them, and – they're losing a lot of their freshman talent, and they're losing Shea Patterson, who was the number one quarterback coming out, I want to say, in 2016. And he wanted to come to Michigan, but I, for some reason, Harbaugh never recruited him, and he ended up going to Ole Miss. So it's pretty much a done deal. As long as, as, long as, the sanction, as, long as he can play right away, He's coming to Michigan for sure. So this dude, people that don't know him, he's like 6'2". He's 6'2", 200, 205, 210. He played 10 games and he had like 2,200 yards, 17 TDs, and like 10 picks, I want to say. I've watched some film on this dude. He can, he can ball. Like he's a pocket passer, but he can scramble. So... He would give us something that we really haven't had too much. It was a pocket passer that can actually move around and make plays. Like this dude is a stud. So if he gets him, that's the, that's if we get him, he's the missing piece. So he gets in here. And the only problem I say we might have is we're gonna have to kind of get him in a position to succeed because he hasn't really played under center much at all. Because in high school he was in shotgun. And at Ole Miss, he was mostly in shotgun also. So besides that, we get this dude, and there's no excuses. Like, there's no excuses. But uh, not only are we likely to get him, we're likely to get some other dudes too, and I'm going to run through some of them. So here we go. So not only Shea Patterson, but uh, Bryce Matthews, he he comes from that Matthews uh that Matthews family tree of offensive linemen, and we need we need a, a a left tackle. We're gonna need a left tackle. So if we can get him to come in and step in, that would be big. And let's see who else we got on this list. Greg Little, he's a six six offensive tackle. He was he was recruited with Rashawn Gary, but he's he. He decided to go to Ole Miss, and they say he's not likely to come to Michigan. They're saying he wants to go to to uh, Oklahoma, so it's not likely we're going to get him. And we got Deontay Anderson, a 6'1 safety. He had like 15 tackles, I think like 16 solo tackles. And if anybody that's watched my videos knows that I'm not happy with our safeties, either one of them, in coverage – they can tackle for the most part pretty well, somewhat, but they're they're just not they're not good enough for Don Brown's defense because he wants to play he wants to play blitz and our 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 safeties are in man coverage all the time. So you have to have safeties that can man up and be good in coverage. So 
if we can get this guy and which what I from what I've heard he's coming like him and Shea Patterson as long as as long as the Saints as long as they they're allowed to play and don't have to sit out a year he's coming I know Anderson is coming and Shea Patterson it kind of depends on if if he um if he has to sit out so if we can get that safety in that that'll be another good thing and let's see we got Brian Dixon he, he would be a linebacker, 5'11", 200 and something. So he'd be more of a speedy linebacker. But I'm not sure if he's going to come. He's he's interested. But I'm not sure if he's going to come because we have two linebackers already with Devin Bush and Hudson. And we've got like four linebackers, four freshman linebackers that didn't really get to play. But who knows because somebody has to fill in for Mike McCray. So I just want – the most talent we can have, and then the cream of the crop just rises to the top, and that's who gets on the field. So, and let's see, we got Jacob Mathis. He's a tight end, which I, I really, I'm really not worried about because we have tight ends already. Like our tight end position is pretty much stacked, but who knows? You know, you never know how good these dudes might be because he's also a freshman. Most of these players are young, so we can see what they have. Old Miss is a SEC school, so they're not just they're not just picking up garbage players. So he's a six four tight end, 6'4", 240. So that that fits our our what we want in tight end, big, big and can run. So with that being said, and then there's a couple more wide receivers that may come. There's one wide receiver that may come if if Shea Patterson comes. I know there's another wide receiver, and he's going to come because he's pretty much going to go wherever Shea Patterson goes. So with that being said, I mean, if we, if as long as when, when, from what I've heard is if the players get denied the the ability to play right right off the bat and don't have and have to sit out the year, that they're going to basically file a lawsuit against. Uh, the the NCAA and the NCAA doesn't want that and Ole Miss doesn't want that because they're going to start looking in the books and start seeing what other type of schemes and, and sanctions that have been busted that have been broken so Ole Miss doesn't want that and uh, the NCAA, NCAA doesn't want that so it's not likely that they're going to have to sit out this year so we can almost count that we're going to have Shea Patterson and Deontay Anderson, and I'm not sure what that wide receiver's name was, but we're I'm not really too worried about that because we're kind of stacked at wide receiver. It's really just Shea Patterson and the offense, at least one of those offensive linemen, and we've got Deontay Anderson. So that's, it looked bad this year, but as it's going along, it's looking good because if Shea Patterson comes in, He's going to be the starter, and they say he only wants to play for one year, and he wants to go pro. So we let him play for one year. Then we got Peters or McCaffrey. Peters will be a soft. Peters will be a junior, ready to take, ready, ready to step in. And McCaffrey, he'll be, he'll be a, a junior, he'll be a sophomore, ready to come in. So that that. You can't beat that. And then we'll have Joe Milton. He'll probably redshirt next year. And he'll be waiting in the wing. So that gives you QBs for the next, like, five years. So you can't beat that right now. Because this dude is a stud. If you haven't seen him, Google Google's, or go to YouTube and look up Shea Patterson. His highlights at Ole Miss. This, this dude is a beast. He can throw from the pocket, he can throw on the run, and he can scramble and get those yards too, and he's tough. Like I've seen this dude get hit in the chops and throw 30 and 40-yard touchdowns, like precision-type passing. So something that we haven't seen in a while is a quarterback that can throw dudes open. Like This dude has that, that arm talent. So I'm, I'm, I'm just excited right now because we go from – Hoping Brandon Peters comes in and will be able to take the ropes or McCaffrey, 
to a dude that has start ten starts under his belt, and he this dude was the number one recruit coming out of his class. So it's not like he was just a uh, decent quarterback. No, this dude was four and five stars. So that's that's the missing piece. Next year, the no, next year it was the defense. The defense is locked in. And it's going to be top. We know our defense is going to be top, a top defense. And as long as the off- offensive line protects, we got two stud running backs for sure. And we got a stable of receivers, a stable of tight ends. Our special team should be better because we'll have dudes that they've all been young. So at least for our returners, Peoples Jones, he's going to be stronger next year. Um, Crawford, if he's returning kicks, all these dudes are going to be bigger, faster, stronger. So that's going to help in our return game. And as long as Quinn Nordin gets his act together as far as kicking, hey, we're locked and loaded. That's all. That'll be all three phases of the game that are set. So. Right now, I'm feeling good about Michigan as long as we can get these dudes to sign on and get as many as many of them as we can because they're all of them are pretty much good looking players and they're young. So that's like getting that's getting a ready made recruiting class for us with top top players. So I'm just feeling good right now. Like Harbaugh is on it when he found out Shea Patterson was. Trying to come and Shay's trying to get bring as many of the boys as he can, so it's all it's, as long as that sanction they don't get uh as long as they don't get stopped from from playing right away we're we're pretty much set for next year, so there's no excuses. This dude signs. There's no excuses because there's not gonna be really too many. Oh, uh, he's going through uh, growing pains like that with him. It's not going to be too many of the growing pains. Like, if, if Peters was to start, that'd be an excuse. Oh, he only started a couple games last year. He did, really didn't get to throw. And so, that ready-made excuse goes out the window because I, I don't want to hear excuses. When I played when I played football, played semi-pro, my coach, something he taught me and it, and it echoed in the rest of my life is there are no excuses. We don't use excuses on the field. There's no excuses. Just get it done. Just get it done. And I, I kind of hope, I mean, this is this is a little off track, and I'm just going, if anybody has seen the movie Friday Night Lights, and they're trying to win this champion, the state championship, and every time they see old the older players, and they show them their ring, and they're like, just get it done. That's, that's my mentality. We, we just got to get it done now. These players, everybody's, just get it done. No excuses. No, none of that. Just get it done. Just get it done. And so, hey, that's all I really got to say right now is we're looking, we're looking good. Once we get these players locked in, get them, get them ready to go. Because most of them, Shea Patterson, I think he visited last week, and Harbaugh's been on the phone and visiting with the rest of them. So it's just a matter of time before we know for sure what's going to happen. But uh, it's looking good right now. It's looking real good. So let's just hope for the best because I know people, I've heard people saying, oh, oh I don't want to lose these other quarterbacks and like all this. Like if we lose Peters or or it's not likely McCaffrey or Milton would go because they're so young that by the time Patterson is going to stay like one year, he already says he's not likely to stay more than two years. He'll have two left. He said he's going to stay one year and then he's going to go. So Peters would probably be the only one that would even think about transferring. But even with him, he'd still have he'd still have two years left himself. So that's just time for you to grow and, and get the offense and just become the best quarterback you can by the time you do get to start. So that's all I got for today. Just some good news for the most part. At least to me, that's good news. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but... That's good news to me. So, uh, as always, like, share, subscribe, and go blue.